Iowa RC Outlaws. I guess we're having a boat night. Tugboat is there with the recovery arm on it. And Gary's launching his uh, Traxxas there. How cool is that? Got a lot of little boats. I'm digging this tugboat though. First recovery of the night here. Trenton Seto, right here. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum, Kenton. <laughs> I love it, man. Hold on, I'm gonna back it out. I don't want it hooked on that. There we go. Go! Bring it right to you, Alex. Bring it right to you. <laughs> you went over the boat. Are you on? No, you're on. You're, you're right. I turned. Uh, I was, this is Corey's boat. I have the controller in my hand for that one. Second recovery in process, little boat. I have two at home and for some reason didn't think I should bring it. Oh, that's my bad, right? Not much to worry about. It took him a while to get there even, and like, he didn't see. What did you use to make that uh, front loop to hold it? That actually came with the boat. Oh, it did? Yeah, that's a whole, this is a stock boat from Provost. And it came with that recovery tool? Yep, everything. Horizon no kidding. Whatever, the yeah. only thing I had to put on it was the pump for the water cannon. So. Yeah? So. I'm going to weather it up and kind of put new chains and anchors and all that kind of stuff on it over the winter. That'd be cool. Yeah. Make it more scale? Yeah. We've got a couple of boats out here tonight that'll do about 50 miles an hour. When they plane out, they sound cool. That's Gary's boat. Got one capsized. <laughs> says outlaw cruise upside down. Like you could have got that without the thing on the front. Your V just hit right in the middle. Yeah, but this keeps it straight at least. So that way it doesn't yeah, but trying to do that. Yeah. It's detailed and ready to go. This has a working fire cannon. That is crazy. So if you have a boat burning down out in the lake, you can actually put it out. Maybe. <laughs> I gotta get the uh, plumbing right to do the other one. This rope is shipping, so I'm trying to get a new end piece. Okay. That's cool.
That's, That's the big one. Black Jack 42. Okay. It doesn't even want to stay on the water. Yeah, that's why I'm not getting over yet. Why didn't they just charge you a bit? Sorry, bud. This is probably a 70 mile per hour boat here. So yours is a 30. Is that 30? Yeah. And I was like, man, I just second ahead of your section. And that's just half throttle right there. I would love it. He's fucking. Can I ride in front of your truck? You can go far. You can go too close to that. Oh, uh, why? You almost need to have glass water for that one, don't you? Yeah. Your interior What's problem? glass water? And then you won't be able to do nothing. Give her the beans, I'll save you. Look at Trey and a little tugboat like here. That was Ben. Ben. It was in the source. I wonder if it's something with the brother holding the stable. Is it? Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Actually blew over. That's you go <laughs> yeah, well, I think it might need a little more weight in the nose. Prop on that See, thing. He's got the he's got a three blade the prop. Does he? Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have to go to 12. Might go three. I mean, I could leave it for you if you want. <laughs> yeah. Hey, That'd be your second boat that sunk. No just so you deal. know, your charge just went from $10 to $200. <laughs> I'm bringing it over here. It's that's way too shallow for me to do that over there. I don't care where you take it, dude. As long as I can grab it. Oh, you can. Yeah, like I said, this is the one that's got a glass pistol. I I thought it was gonna do it. Tracks us out here showing off, <laughs> making wakes. <laughs> If you're right? if you're not careful, he's gonna start charging people for recoveries out here. Thank God not, because that first night we were here, I hey, I had to go get me five times. <laughs> This is a big boat, Dustin. It is a big boat. <laughs> I can't get it to push straight. That's a 42 inch? Got it? Yeah, and then over there. Yeah, I thought it was brushes. I wouldn't have bought it for it, but stay away from that boat. Like, I want that one, Dad. And I was like, okay, and I bought it. And it got home and it came with the battery and it was brushless. I cannot control it as fast as it goes. Just give it power for a little bit. Okay. There you go. There we go. Trenton's got to get that down to where. Oh, well, I gotta spin it around to the direction I want. If I push it rudder forward, it turns whichever way the rudder goes. We still still on it, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's a big one. I just flipped this boat and we're getting it recovered by the tugboat right now. Thanks, man. Yep. Well, this tugboat's the coolest thing, honey. I just need to own one. That's all. <laughs> Bingo. I mean, think about it. He'd never sink a boat. It's even here. lighted. That's crazy. He's going to get so much money out of here. He's going to start charging more boat recoveries. $20 for recoveries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Soon it's going to be worth the money for me. It's okay. It's going to fix me. I'm going to go look at it. Corey's got the Outlaw Cruise back in. That's the one I was driving earlier. 
kind of weird because it looks like it drifts the corners. Uh oh! Uh -oh. You know, if you're going to do a lot of boating, something like that is crucial. I think this V bottom is fast. The nice thing about a V bottom is they don't generally flip over from uh, aerodynamics or a tunnel hull, catamaran style. If they get air under them, they can they can go upside down pretty quick. Camera's losing light, so. Really doesn't have enough light to work with. It's after sunset. suck being out there playing and then having to come back so who's going to recover this when it when it does something That's weird a million dollar question i have six hour run time on this under my belt one battery so far so i mean if i need recovered so this is the oh, man. this is the tugboat hull has a ducted uh prop in the back is that a brass prop yep oh Three blade brass gosh. prop. that's awesome and Underneath here is your steering servo. Yeah. And then, so here, yeah, there's your steering servo hookup. And there's your actual bulkhead hookup for the turning on the yeah. uh, Hi. rudder. Hi, buddy. Come on, buddy. And there's your actual bay. We're running a oh, 4S yeah. big battery in it, so it gets about six hours of run time out of that guy. Wow. Up under the front, you've got all your plumbing for the pump and everything. I don't know how well you can see it up under there, but there's a pump back in there, and it's yeah. plugged into the actual inlet for the water cooler. Okay. So it's running the water cooling and the actual whatever you nice. want to call it, the fire hydrant, I guess. But yeah, yeah. Sadly, with this so little guy here, so it's a separate pump than the motor. Correct. Thing. That, that's neat. So it comes with the plumbing done for the hydrants, but it doesn't come with the pump. So you have to buy the pump okay. for like $24.99 and then put the pump in. Mm -hmm. But it's all plumbed for it. So literally all you have to do is put the pump in, plug in the two little ports, and then there's even a place on the receiver that says pump. No kidding. So you just plug it right in and you're good to go. Do so they both shoot at the same time? Or? They do, but the issue was this one actually broke off right here during shipping. So yeah. I have it glued on right now. Okay. So I'm waiting for another one to come, but you know how everything is right you now. You can't aim them other than pointing the boat then. Nope. So you got to either turn them manually, manually beforehand. beforehand or whatever. Okay. So, yep. This this thing is the star of the show tonight. Oh, dude. That it's is been a so lot of cool. Fun, so. That is super cool. Oh, yeah. Right on. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I enjoy it.